When I made this mini drill power lathe, I wanted a way to control the speed of the motor. And so I tried using this dimmer based device that I built years ago for a completely unrelated project and it worked. Now I'm not an electrical engineer and I don't know what motors this device will and will not work on, but it does work on this cheap $10 drill. I've been using it for about a year and I haven't noticed any ill effects, but I guess I could be slowly burning out the motor. I don't know. I've had a number of people ask me how I made this. It's pretty simple. I'm going to take it apart and I'm going to show you how I made it. So this thing is made from basically three pieces. There is a dimmer switch, and this is literally the cheapest dimmer switch I could find at the hardware store. A three-pronged grounded extension cord. And it's important that it's grounded because every dimmer switch I've seen needs to be grounded. And then a plastic electrical box. So what I did is I took this extension cord and I cut it in half and then fed the two halves through the back of the electrical box. And the wiring is actually pretty simple. I have a link down in the description to a diagram you can download. So there are three wires on the extension cord. One is neutral and it goes to the, the big fat prong. And I just took the two neutral wires from each half of the extension cord and reconnected them with a wire nut. One wire is ground. It's the round prong and it's usually green. And I connected the the two ground wires with the ground wire coming from the dimmer switch, again with a wire nut. And then the hot wire goes to the small prong. And on one half of the extension cord, I took the hot wire and connected it to one of the black wires coming from the switch. And then connected the other wire coming from the switch to the other half of the extension cord. I don't think it matters which one goes to which half. So that's all the wiring. So I just put the switch into the box and screwed in the included screws. And I added a face plate. You wanna be careful not to screw these in too tight or you'll crack the face plate. And then the knob came with the switch. And so to use this thing, I just plug the male end into the wall and I take the plug from the drill and just plug it into the extension cord. What I do is I lock the drill in the on position and use the dimmer to control the speed. If your drill doesn't have a locking mechanism, you can just use a zip tie to hold the trigger in. Well, that's all there is to it. I hope you liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to keep up to date with my newest videos. Thanks for watching.